it is a little different mind exists only when you are unnecessarily associated with the brain otherwise there is nothing called the mind there is the brain and the brain is an instrument of prakriti just like this is there just like this is there similarly the brain is there but when the ego principle that little self hmm the little thing that keeps calling itself as the i gets associated with the body and therefore the brain then something called the mind comes into being otherwise there is nothing called the mind otherwise there is just the brain and the prakritik activity of the brain mind is not even needed mind is when i becomes an interloper and unnecessary uh, trespasser leave the brain alone and it will think it will think without i but if you are associated with the brain identified with the body then your thoughts will be all i centered in the middle of every thought there would be i so israel is fighting palestine even this thought would have a very strong i center you would not be able to look at the situation dispassionately with any kind of detachment anything happen happening anywhere any thought about anything would impinge on the i because this i is so insecure and this i is so lonely it wants to have a relationship with everything and this is called mental activity then this is no more brain activity now this is mental activity activity of the brain is necessary to sustain the organism if there is no activity in the brain your heart won't beat properly who tells the heart to beat properly the brain if the brain activity is not proper then your hands won't move properly in fact if your brain gets hit somewhere you may get paralyzed in the leg now your leg has not been hit what has been hit the brain but what has been paralyzed so brain activity is all right thought too is just a pure movement in prakriti exactly as pure as the flow of a mountainous river doesn't a mountainous river flow in prakriti everything flows similarly thought to flows. flows what exactly is thought nothing but electrical movement in this mass of flesh am i right mm. movement of chemicals there are neurons and synapses and little bit of current is passing through them all that is prakriti and all that is all right all that is not suffering what is human suffering and we must talk of human suffering in any spiritual question because spirituality is first and foremost and ultimately about the alleviation of suffering, suffering. and if question does not concern itself with the elevation of suffering it is not a spiritual question at all Are you getting it so suffering is not in the brain suffering is in the Mind. Mind. mind and why is there suffering in the mind because the i principle is so identified with everything that it suffers first identification is with the body and having identified with the body it later on keeps identifying with every miscellaneous with this 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 this, this something Are you getting it? 
does that answer your question about your reading from J. Krishnamurti or is something left that? I have built a base from where to answer you. Now I can proceed. Yes. So, self-learning is essentially weakening or disassociating the I principle from... Self-learning is seeing what this I is constantly doing. In that lies the weakening process. Obviously. Observation is detachment. How did the mind come into existence? Why? Why? Before that you have to ask how did you come into existence? You, the one who keeps saying I, 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 I. The existence of mind is a secondary phenomena. The first phenomena is your own existence. The one who says I. I. Who are you? When did you come into existence? Do you really exist at all? Without you, doesn't the brain, the body, the universe, all these don't they function more properly, more harmoniously? Are you even needed? Are you good for yourself? These are the questions you must ask about the I. How did it come into existence? Does it even exist? <laughs> is its existence good for anybody? Is its existence good for even itself? The best interest of I lies in going into a permanent sleep. How do you how do you remain awake? How do you afford to laboriously remain awake? It hurts you so much. It makes you cry, cringe, whimper, shout and still you manage to remain awake. Like someone who is so scared to sleep that she goes on an overdose of coffee, caffeine to while away the night. Is she enjoying it? She is alone in the house. And she is too afraid to go to bed. So what is she doing? She is effortfully remaining awake by consuming coffee after coffee. Is she enjoying it? Taste, she might enjoy Taste is alright, but um, are you enjoying the whole process? No. Good. Just go to sleep. Cut the coffee off and go to sleep. But you are so afraid. You want to remain awake. Some bhoot might come. With the coffee you want to blast away the bhoot. <laughs> even Harsh is laughing. Our stories are not even childish. They are infantile. Even a kid laughs at our stories. But we manage to remain awake when we should have gone to bed long back. Why can't you relax? Hmm? Self-learning and self-knowledge are not fundamentally different. It's just that when you say self-learning, it contains ING. And what does ING do? It makes it a continuous thing and when you say self-knowledge that makes it sound static dead so you could as well say self-knowing self-knowing hmm? and knowing is at least semantically superior to knowledge hmm? because it is continuous. continuous and why must it be continuous because you are continuous since you go on existing, since you refuse to die, since your presence in time is uninterrupted, therefore your observation must also continue uninterrupted. Therefore ING is needed. But remember that ING is needed so that one day ING may come to a stop. stop. 
you cannot keep going because you will not keep living because the living ing will come to a full stop so you better ensure that all the ing's you are using in your spiritual journey quickly come to a full stop otherwise the ing related to this will come to a halt before your all other ing's come to a halt you will continue knowing and you will discover that you have stopped living ah too bad so knowing is better than knowledge but even knowing must come to a stop okay so there comes a point where self knowing concept just... when the self is no more there who is going to be known self knowing is so that the object that you know and the subject who knows both see their falseness both see their needlessness and both say oh, we are not needed and invited we are barging into the party and they both then feel a little ashamed and go away man is an uninvited intruder in his own party too bad that's how we are holy threads vermilion sandal paste anything you want to ask about these things <laughs> hmm? these things are very much in fashion huh? i have a question on the branch for the back <laughs> see this is good optics i love it but if you say this is part of spirituality uh, no it is good aesthetically it is very good very good hmm? aesthetically so many things are good the dia is aesthetically extremely likable but if you will say that the dia has something to do with uh, 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 huh? dia yeah, the divine flow of energy or positive uh, vibes or uh, he wants to say something yes yes that kind of spirituality <laughs> there is nothing here but it's artistic hmm in fact if you look at it it is a meditative thing to look at it it's beautiful but don't just say that you know some it is a source of positive energy and divine vibes you are unnecessarily with it what else even that can become a spiritual instrument some day hmm ha ah. <laughs> one question that you must ask is is it helping me resolve myself even as you read that book hmm, the doorbell rings the doorbell rings and the fellow who is ringing the bell turns out to be abusive you are sitting here and reading the book that you just mentioned and you get up and you answer the bell and the fellow is abusing you my question is that which you have just read does it help you stay poised and calm and peaceful if it does it is spiritual if it does not throw it away are you getting it spirituality is not about some abstract principles in an arcane language spirituality is about living free of fear anger insecurity hmm a bit of smile a bit of wit love as well as detachment and here you are reading some fantastic spiritual principle and there you are throwing punches at the one who is on the door then what is this book of 
any worth here none at all hmm when we say spirituality is fundamentally about liberation liberation from what these are the two words that spirituality concerns itself with love and liberation please hmm when you say liberation that is commonly called as the mark of gyan hmm the path of knowing. realization knowing and when you talk of love that is the path of devotion bhakti mark liberation from what liberation has to be from something liberation from what the self more humanly from the mental activity emotions more even even more fear that's so liberation from fear liberation from bizarre movements of the mind liberation from cynicism desperation that spirituality liberation from fear desperation overpowering greed and when we say love then love for peace truth peace freedom that spirituality so if you want to assess whether a process is spiritual or not whether a book is spiritual or not whether a, an issue or a question is spiritual or not this is what you should ask will it liberate me i am asking a question even if i get a satisfactory answer will that answer liberate me if it will not why the hell am i asking this question similarly in the perspective of love you should ask that which i am asking will it bring me peace will it bring me closer to freedom if it will then i must ask this question i must read this book i must follow a particular method whatever method it is and if it will not then i'll chuck everything away useless what is the point in all the knowledge and all the rituals and this and that and the and the entire expanse of spiritual processes and methods if they do not give me liberation. liberation what's the point that makes it so simple right similar lies even as she will going to temple or visiting a shrine and it cannot change your it may or it may not if it does then keep going if it does not then pause How you are wasting you your time it? don't you know don't you know how do you know that you have to return to me how did you know you must have experienced something or some of your experiences would have come to a halt just as you know that you have to return to me similarly you will know whether you have to return to that temple isn't it straight forward how do you know you are in love don't you come to know on one hand it is unknowable on the other hand it is obvious mm -hmm. ah, seriously no. <laughs> you observe and then you come to know that you are in love you know you just know i am not discounting observation if observation helps you reach there observe but observation even observation is not essential only the essential is essential and anything that leads to essential is essential if observation leads you to the essential then observation is essential if observation is not leading you to the essential check it away nothing is sacred except that which is really sacred the normal question is same so if i am surrendered to you whatever you say is something which 
You are not surrendered to me. If I start talking nonsense, will you keep sitting? You are surrendered to your own peace. You listen to me because your peace is more present to you, more available to you with me in the front. The day I no more perform that function for you, I will be useless for you and go away. Do not keep sitting near a useless me or near my dead body. This is going to be on my table only as long as it serves me good tea. Hmm? I have no more value than this container. First of all, it must contain something. Secondly, it must be capable of delivering what it contains. Ultimately, you have to ask yourself, is it quenching something here? If it is quenching something here, let it be there on the table. Same question, similar question you have to ask with respect to a friend, a companion or a teacher. Is he quenching something here? If he is quenching something here, by all means be present to him. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs>